All right, guys, welcome to another episode of Underexposed. We're here with Mr. Flowers. How you been, man? How you feeling today? I'm feeling great, man. I'm so happy to be here next to you, man. Yeah. So next, yeah, yeah. <laughs> sorry, <laughs> tell me a little bit about yourself. About myself, I'm a young adult. I'm 31 years old. <laughs> Just, um, yeah, I like writing songs. And I use it for fun, man. So uh, I had really good time here in Underexposed. So. Well, I'm from Mexico, I'm Mexican. So I moved here, um, let's say, 10 years ago. And, you know, I used to play in this rock band in Mexico. I played the drums, the guitar a little bit. So then when I moved to US, I didn't have a band. So I just started writing and trying to, you know, be creative and, you know, to, to do the stuff I love. So I have been writing Hip hop, I guess it's the type of music I, I do now. Hip hop, just two years ago in, in the pandemic. So and, and now you know I'm a superstar and I'm here in Underexposed. I, I want to take this time to actually say like you've been a huge inspiration for me. You're part of the reason we're here today. You oh, know, man. Uh, and I I hope you know I really do mean that. You know, no. you've been a huge inspiration to me. Hey bro. I just want to say I love you. You are inspiring me right here right now, man. Because this guy is doing what I wish I could do. Because now I, you know, I do other type of videos, but I love this project, man. I love, I love, I love it. And I'm very proud of you, man. Yeah, thanks, thanks. Keep, keep, keep it up. Thank you. So let's let's hop into that first song. You want to tell me a little bit about it? The first it? song was A Un Fu Atrevido. Un Fu Atrevido. A Un Fu Atrevido, it was a song, to be honest, that the real inspiration was a lady I met. It was not a lady, actually it was a moment when I saw a, a girl that I I liked. I liked it, but now she's my, my girlfriend. Oh, okay, uh, I yeah. thought you were gonna get in trouble. No, I no, like, no. I like, I don't say too <laughs> much. No, 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 no. We were in this restaurant, this this uh, this Mexican restaurant, this, this party, so she was there and I don't know, she said something about foo. Foo means like, like friend in, but it's like a, slang from California what, what, what a fool oh, so she I don't know why she uses that word so much but look she speaks it she speaks um, Spanish so she was like este este fu atrevido and I was like hey that's a cool a cool name for a song so uh, that's that's how I get the, the the name but yeah the song talks about like hey I saw this girl and I give me a chance to kiss you something like that you know yeah. so it's kind of she was kind of the inspiration for this song okay. and it's the most re recent one because I used to I used to rap I used to rap more like like hey este todos me la pelan y soy el chingón but uh, yeah it's a part of, of myself too you know when you you're mad or yeah. you know or you you know we, we have these different moments so but now I'm trying to do music that means more to, to me, more uh, honest li lyrics to myself, so yeah. Yeah, and I want to say I definitely heard that in that last song, because it's, it's a lot more slow than um, what I'm used to hearing from you. Most of the people like that, that song. It's, yeah. it's my favorite song so far, cause, uh, I use, uh, which was the third song but I, uh, called uh, Dunas y Mares. And it was just, I was just trying to write the most uh, beautiful thing you can yeah. say to a, a girl. Yeah. So, yeah, I think that's why a lot of people love that song. And honestly, a, a lot of friends from Mexico, uh, they tell me like they, they dedicate they they really? the song to to <laughs> okay to their girls. So, so. you you over here um what's it called serenading women in my other countries? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm the cup cupid. Uh, oh of yeah, Mexico. the cupid of the Mexico. Cu okay. Let's talk about a little bit of what got you into music, bro. I think like I'm talking way way in way, Mexico, way Mexico. Honestly, I think it was the my parents got the divorce, so I was very I was into sports a lot like. I used to play football, American football. So I don't think in middle school, high school, I started to, you know, get into music because it was like a re re relief for, for, for me, you know. And I started playing the drums 
And then I play in these rock bands, and I play with Luis, who is my friend here behind the camera. Uh, we had a, a punk, punk, rock band, right? punk. punk band, yeah, when it was cool. Yeah, know, when like, it was cool. When it was cool. Uh, it's still cool. It's, yeah, I was going to say it's still, it's still, it's still it's cool. cool. It's still cool. And then a uh, classic rock band, Beatles, Led Zeppelin, The Doors, and always, well, you know what, I started writing songs since I was like nine or something like that. So it's something that I really love doing. Uh, I try to write a book too. I haven't finished it, but I, I love writing. I, I don't do it because I'm good or bad. I just, I just feel it and I, I just do it. So while y'all are here, can I get y'all to agree to reforming this punk rock band to have on um, oh, yeah. Underexposed? Yeah, Fue Fuego plays the guitar. Oh, I didn't, I didn't know. I don't want to be in it. Uh, no, <laughs> I'm uh, going to record it. <laughs> <laughs> he plays I, I mean, I would Arctic, love to be a part Arctic of Arctic Monkeys songs. Oh, no. Oh. See, see. I mean, uh, yeah, I yeah, do. Yeah. I love Arctic Monkeys. Arctic Monkeys That's all shit. I know. That's, <laughs> all, that's all I know. It's, it's, it's a great band, man. It's a great band, man. It's, it I, is. And you know, it's different because yeah. when you play an instrument, I think it gives you more, I don't know, more awareness yeah. of yeah, what, what you can do on peace when, 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 you, when you do other type of music, for example, hip-hop. I, I don't know if I should call it hip-hop, what I'm doing, but, you know, it's a beat. I would, yeah, I would say. It's a beat. Yeah. And... I don't do the beats. I buy the the, the beats, mm -hmm. but I th I think I know how to recognize when a beat is well made. Um, yeah. Well, I, I, I don't know. Like a well produced beat. Well, well, yeah, well, well and, and that is very true because with all your songs that I've heard, they've always been well produced. No, but uh, I don't know, man. I think what you're doing is great. Well, honestly, yeah, thank man. you, thank honestly, you. Honestly, like I said, I told you before in person but I'm gonna tell you right now because I want the whole world know that you are a very talented skilled guy and you're very passionate to it uh, to, to you know f filmmaking wise so I just want to wish the best for you bro keep it up there's a lot of work behind all this you know it's all the, your equipment then you have to go to the computer yeah. and edit it yeah it's a lot of work and you are you now filming it with cheap equipment yeah and i think this leads into what you had asked me before the interview where it's like what is underexposed me oh yeah 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 now i want to ask you this because my girlfriend asked me hey what's underexposed why why that that name yeah so and why? um it's funny because when we recorded our first session i didn't even have a name for like mm what i wanted to do i honestly just knew i wanted to like help artists that i meet you know um, yeah. and i feel like m some artists just don't understand how important like the actual video production behind everything is yeah it started as a passion project just really trying to help artists and um really just bringing that video production quality that everyone doesn't know they need yet right like because right. because we we always take it to the next level like yeah we'll, we'll always take it there and um underexposed it, it's really just like about finding those artists like in the city um tour chesley i'm thinking about all the people we've had on they're they're all personal friends they're all people i've met through working in video like doing video work so yeah it feel like it it brings me happiness to be able to like actually record some yeah. some high production like videos for everyone and actually be able to expose them to like a bigger audience. That's that's kind of where I got the name. I remember I was at work. I was still working with my dad at the time, mm. and I was just like underexposed. That's a good right. name. That's a cool name. It's bro. a good name. And, and the the logo is, I like it too. Yeah, and uh, I think I think it represents exactly what I'm trying to do. You exactly. know, just trying to expose artists to a bigger audience. So, underexposed sounds like something that needs exposure. Yeah, right? of course. Exactly. And so it's like, and it's cool because you like filmmaking. So it's actually a co concept in yeah. filmmaking. So it's underexposed, overexposed. So. I, I love the name, man. Yeah, it's a great thank name. Thank I like the logo because you have this line yeah, that yeah. you know on there exposed. So yeah, yeah. It, it makes sense. Everything makes sense. Yeah. When I when I thought of the name, I already had the logo in mind. So it was oh, just perfect. Oh, okay. It, like 
What? And then once I got the name and the logo, I was like, that's when I knew, like, I was onto something, you know? Like, yeah. you know, whenever you're doing something and you're like, oh, oh this yeah, is good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, and honestly, uh, like you said before, you know, when an artist is good, is, is a talented artist, most of the time they just they just do one thing like make music or make li li lyrics but behind an artist there's always a, a team a productions so sometimes most of the time artists don't don't see that 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 area that aspect that it helps to bring the artist to the next le level and not just helps it keeps the artist in a good position a good mm -hmm. image it's, it's how you want to see people how, yeah, exactly. how you want people to see how it's how they present themselves yes yeah i'm sorry if, uh, for my english by the way i'm oh, no, still you're, learning you're it great. after 10 years here but okay. I'm, i'm trying to do my best you're doing <laughs> great uh, this actually leads me to my last and final question it's two pieces so it's yeah. um where are you now in terms of like your music career and where do you see yourself Okay, I'm gonna be completely honest with you. Okay, I don't see like music and like my career music because I use it for for fun, for a hobby. I I don't I don't have plans right now to you know take it to you know it's always good you know to think oh may, maybe I, I can make this song and it could be a hit right. But I just do it for fun, man. Uh, honestly. If it takes me to to be to new places, to new audience, it's great, man. I, I'm just I'm, I'm I'm just loving the process. I'm just loving what I'm doing. So, well, to be honest, too, I think I have good good skills to make cool music, and I just want to make cool music for myself first, and then if people like it, good. I mean. That, that's it, man. I think, man, like I said, if I can help to other people to make, you know, make, make them feel good with my music or with my videos, man, it's, it's great, man. I mean, if, and if I can live doing that, man, that's, that's a blessing. Well, we're super happy to have you, man. You, man, you, you. did have an amazing session and um, thank you. an amazing interview. We really Appreciate it, man. We love Again, you here, man. Again, we love I you love so you, brother. Much, thank you so much. Uh, for the yeah, invite, no, for thank, everything, thank bro. Thank you, man. Don't even say thank you. Matter of fact, I, I need to thank you. <laughs> and, and yeah, I hope many blessings to you. Y'all see my work? Y'all should go see his, cause his videos are insane. Amen. Appreciate you, brother. Yeah. Thanks so much. I, I have to take a fly to to Miami right now for a concert. Oh, yeah, so I that, that's why I, I gotta <laughs> go, man. All right. And then and then Canada, right? Can then Canada? Yeah, fifty thousand. Keep pants, <laughs> but hey man, it's yeah. part of the job. Sometimes is, I don't like it, but it's part of the job. <laughs> bueno chicos, muchas gracias a toda la banda que le gustó este live session, gran entrevista por Saint Fuego, mi compa. Thank you, Thank you eh, so much, mis man. redes sociales son Flowers con doble w, w y Z al final y el de la música es Señor Flores. S R punto F L 0 R 3 Z. Está difícil, pero los ponemos por aquí. Yeah, yeah, it'll be right here. Nice, right here. All right. All right. <laughs> nah, nah. All right. Thank y'all so much. I hope y'all enjoyed, and I hope to see y'all at the next session. Be safe. Be safe, guys. Peace. 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 Donde usted tan guapa. Se That was great. En la cleta y no sé lo que me pasa. El viento que le sopla en la cara se burla de este pobre hombre y es que <laughs> vaya el paisaje que yo veo. No sé si son los relieves de tu cuerpo Lo dulce del perfume en el cuello O la manera que se mueve con tanto meneo hey. Entonces pa' cuando mi negra me caso contigo no.